Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen. Episode number 161, recap of the day, Quantum Miami. Wow, amazing day. Uh, we got to connect with uh, some amazing projects uh, here in Quantum. Um, you know, we got to talk to uh, a ton of people, which was really, really cool. Um, you know, we, uh, traded contacts with about 25 people today. Um, and I was just like, you know, how, of where we felt connected enough that we could help each other in some sort of way, which was sort of amazing about web three is that we always, uh, you know, we don't mind connecting people with people like via like telegram or chat, but then like, if like there's some sort of weird like synergistic feeling from either side, it's like, hey, can we like can fully connect somehow? Um, so uh, really got to do that. Um, had a great time uh, at Quantum of Miami. So uh, day one, huge shout out to the entire team putting that on. Um, I don't know if this is some alpha because this is a possibility, but. Uh, talked to uh one of the one of the uh main event um throwers that was sort of directing all the speakers today um and uh they might she said might need me to to speak which would be amazing you know asked what topics i, I talk on and and <sighs> that is it, it's humbling it's awesome and it's amazing um, it's really cool. And so, um, happy to, to do that. Got to see a great talk today, uh, from Mia and PJ, uh, from Algorand Gaming. Um, really amazing talk on both like the, you know, the VC side of what VCs look for in founders. Um, and, uh, got to listen to some V chain talk today and the possibilities that it's doing around the world and, and what it's building out. Um, I, I did miss the mayor's talk, um, this morning, uh, the mayor of Miami, um, talked and I missed that. Um, guess, believe it or not, I was onboarding two of the wait staff and, and, into crypto um because they they really loved my backpack and they wanted to know more about the nfts behind it behind orbis 86 and um and so sort of just sort of started them on the path uh you know uh to learn and earn that coinbase offers which was a really fun thing to do um and then um got to meet a mortgage company that is tokenizing mortgages um got to talk with some really good cool people that are working to not only support um businesses and uh large companies with tax solutions but individuals and small businesses you know small um you know DAOs with tax compliance and like future proofing themselves which was really amazing and cool to see um the team over at beefy finance huge shout out to beefy finance and everything that they got going on um huge shout out to uh lady day Dow, um and what what they're building out uh then we actually had a really good talk with um uh giddy up wallet or giddy wallet um you know and uh actually won some uh usdc today on polygon so that was sort of cool uh then uh got to uh connect there um helping with both uh possible dex uh connection uh with stella swap um rpc connection with rivet um but then also uh fiat crypto on wrap on off ramping solution uh via uh banksa uh, so really good opportunities there. Really amazing to have that chance to make some of those connections uh, for people. Um, and then that was a, a little bit. Uh, 
also got to talk with uh, the lead anchor of uh, Block Bits. Um, they've been in producing a, a crypto broadcast broadcast for about two years now, um, which after 161 days for doing it for two years, hats off. That is just one of those amazing pieces. Uh, talked about uh, jokingly, uh, he'd put out a post uh, within uh, the team map of who who should you uh who should they uh interview and and I was like well I want to interview you and they they said yes that would be amazing um so that that will happen tomorrow uh then I also get to uh I have an interview scheduled with John who is the president of the blockchain Com- business of commerce or yeah business of commerce right i think that's right um and the legal association uh pack here in miami um and we're going to be they're going to be having an event up in dc on the first and, and connecting with them um and have an interview scheduled with them tomorrow which is going to be awesome um so that will be really fun it's gonna it's gonna be really cool um Got to then go to uh, an event tonight. Uh, got to see. Uh, got to uh, go over to Solana Embassy uh, by Nick Santos uh, event, and got to some of the local blockchain um, association uh, community members and the president of uh, the blockchain association here in Miami, doing some really cool things with AI. Uh, machines, uh, painting and creating paintings, uh, but then also uh, burning the paintings to to chain. So uh, it's sort of limited on what it can do painting wise, beca- or limited number of paints because they can it can only paint so many times uh, within a collection. So each uh, painting is a number within the collection. So once it gets to a certain number, uh, I think they said that the He's like, in short, the AI sort of dies. It becomes useless. It can't do anything more because it's uh, stuck at only making this many in a collection. And that's how they, they sort of made that immutable, which I don't know. It, there's, um, it reminds me of the, the oil robot that was always collecting the oil, um, thinking that it needed it uh, to live until like it just ran out of, leaked so much oil that it just died. But the reality of it was that it didn't even run on oil. It was a, an electro server motor. Um, and, and so um, some of the use cases within that is, is sort of cool. Um, the ideas behind that limited cycle runs um, is really intriguing. Um, met some really cool AI uh, and machine learning NFT uh, tracking pieces. Got to run into uh, our friends over at Surtech who are doing some great things within security audits and new bridge audits, hinting at some amazing new things coming up. Um, and, and just, you know, point, uh, pointed in the direction of where to look to possibly find some of the amazing things uh, that are coming up, which is fun to go on that DGen rabbit hole. Um, and so that was pretty much day one. Uh, Got to run into Brock Pierce, uh, and he came over to the embassy. Uh, it was an amazing time. Had a really fun time talking with him. Um, we were talking about some uh, fun things about the the cycles we've seen um, and did a little soundbite recording of him on that, which was pretty fun. Um, and then uh, got to meet up with uh, some, some of the projects that are doing... Um, metaverse ai stuff and uh gonna try to tie them back over to our friends over uh at the meditar uh metaverse architects consortium and so that's sort of a, a really awesome awesome pace here place here today and that's just day one um tomorrow uh we have uh uh we're sp- uh going to be a uh, 4 30 uh fireside uh chat um that's going to be amazing we're going to be doing a live uh twitter uh space interview with uh the 
City of Commerce, uh, Chamber of Commerce of the Blockchain Association, um, and a, a couple other interviews throughout the day, founders and just some amazing people. Um, huge shout out to Sandra um, of uh, Onboarding 60, uh, who she is literally working to creating and building um, educational uh, step guides of onboarding people over the age of 60 into blockchain. Uh, and hap I just noticed that uh, one of the... I I'm going to say perky, but I don't think that's the right word. Like there's like gotta be like a word better than perky. Like hmm, spontaneously perky. Spurky. I don't know. That sounds weird. Spurky. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go with that. Spurky people joining us who always talks about how do I onboard my grandma? Well, this lady Sandra is 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 doing that and working on a community and teaching, um, which is amazing. And she is this amazing person. Uh, they are, uh, I I'm just amazed about what they are doing, um, and had a lot of fun talking with them. And uh, yeah, so I uh, yeah, it was one of those days. Of just really getting to talk with some amazing people. Um, and so I uh, had a moment when I uh, got to uh, be on stage and literally dance myself off of stage. Uh, that video will probably sh be shown um, heavily edited for your safety, not mine. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it for the recap of day one quantum miami and uh we just wanted to give you a quick shout out for all that listen and we hope you're down here in miami and if you are come find the man with the lit up backpack um you know gotta do a huge shout out to our family at orbis 86 um huge gratitude shout to lady day dow and uh you know uh if you're needing a fiat to crypto on ramping or off ramping solution uh, we at Banksa can help you. Uh, and if you're looking for a DEX, look no farther than Stellaswap. If you're looking for RPCs, Rivet. Um, almost like a Rivet, but it's a Rivet. And um, yeah, the, some pretty cool things being built. So with that, we will see you on the flip. We will see you tomorrow. And uh, that is it. So tonight we end with the best joke ever. Knock, knock. Who's there?